Hey guys, quick question. How would an extra 430 conversions over the next 30 days transform your junk car business? Hey, it's Dustin with ClicksGeek and I'm back with a new Google Ads case study from a junk car client that I had to show you. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please make sure that you do because we drop a really a lot of really good Google Ads training and uh, case studies in here like I'm, do, I'm about to do. We drop it in here daily for you. So let's dive into this campaign real quick. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a junk car client. Um, we're on this specific campaign. We're going to review this from a 30 day window. Uh, it has a $250 per day budget. The total clicks for the 30 days is 707 clicks with a click through rate of 14.5%, uh, which is really, really good. And a astronomical conversion rate of 60.28%. And just real quick, before we pass this by, this is an amazing conversion rate. That means for every 100 clicks, 60 of those become a lead. So that's that's really amazing. And the, re the way we are able to achieve this is because our team builds the landing pages for our, for our client or built this landing page for our client and for our other clients. And we know exactly how to make these things convert. We, 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 it speaks to the consumer and then they convert really, really well. So, um, 430 conversions or leads, uh, within this 30 day period with a, uh, $17 and 51 cent cost per acquisition. And a total cost in the 30 days is $7,529. So this specific campaign is driving both uh, calls and is also driving lead gen. So on the lead gen form, the, the consumer actually, they can go to the webpage. They can fill out the, fill out the page, uh, name, email address. That way they can be contacted back. And then there's also the other option of on the page, there's a phone number. They can touch the call on the mobile device or they can just call from a landline using the number on, on the page. And it all tracks back into this campaign so that it can be measured uh, into the campaign. So let's take a look at the uh, ad groups on this campaign. Okay, so as you'll see here, uh, the ad groups, uh, we can think of these as basically uh, categories for uh, keywords and for or the actual ads. So, so sell my junk car cash for junk cars. We buy junk car. We buy junk cars to Detroit. So what you can kind of think of is sell my junk car inside of that, this ad group, we're specifying keywords that communicate exactly to this, this, uh, phrase or something around that. And then on the, on the actual ad that's written for this, it actually speaks, speaks to this as well, because that way, like if the consumer searches for sell my junk car, or something similar, it they feel like it's communicating to them, so that helps to drive the conversion. As you can see here, um, these are these are the these conversions or these ad groups, top ad groups are driving uh, the majority of the conversion. Uh, and then we have a, to a target acquisition on this campaign uh, of twenty three dollars. Let's take a look at the keywords that are in this campaign real quick. Okay, and then as you'll see here, we have very um, intent-based keywords. We're using phrase match and exact match. Phrase match means uh, that somewhere within the phrase of what the consumer searched, it has to contain this, and this means that they have they, they search for exactly this. We junk we junk cars Detroit, junk my car cash or for cash, sell broken cars, uh, and you get you get the idea um, from that. So if you own a junk car business and you're interested in running a successful Google campaign like this one, reach out to us through the application link in the description below. Our team can set up this campaign and launch it for you in as little as 24 to 48 hours. I hope you enjoyed this campaign and have a wonderful day and we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.